Hey, what's going on, Daniel here. And this video, I just wanna share with you a little backstory on how I quit my job and became a digital nomad. Now I'm in Vlora, Albania. It's a small city, beach town, and I think it's in the, yeah, southwest of Albania, very close to the Adriatic and Ionian seas, but that's not the real story here. I just wanna share with you, I was able to quit my nine to nine grilling sales job. And prior to that, I was working in the warehouse, just doing all types of jobs, anything that would allow me to be able to pay my bills, you know, pay my rent and my insurance and whatnot. So I was, not in the United States. For five years ago was when I moved to the United States. I wasn't born in the United States. I moved here as an immigrant, you know, just trying to make ends meet, trying to find a better life. But when I moved here, I realized that things were not the same way that I thought they would be. So my visa ran out and it took me about three years before I could convert my expat visa into a permanent residency in the United States. So there was a lot of legal process, you know, between those, the time when my visa ran out in 2017 and the year 2020 when everything finally came together. So within in that time period, I was working all types of jobs that I could find, you know, warehouse job, I would do deliveries and just do all types of, you know, things I can't really get into this video. But I knew that I'd always wanted to travel. So as soon as I got my work permit, I was able to find a different job. I was able to get a job, a job that would basically allow me to, you know, make a lot of money very fast because I knew that I needed money and I didn't want to leave the same lifestyle that I've been living for the past two and, the, I mean, two and a half years. And what is one job that could give me an opportunity without having you know, a college degree in the United States. Of course, I went to university in Nigeria, but that wasn't enough. Employers still want you to like go to the, you know, go to college in the United States. And I didn't want to like go to, you know, go do my postgraduate and get into like all this college debt and all these things. So I was looking for a job that I could do without having a college degree in the United States and sales was the only option. And I was pretty good at my job. I was pretty good at sales. I sold a shit ton of cars. I made a shit ton of money within a short period of time. And I did that for a couple of months in the year 2020. And I realized that it was a lot of work. It was so grueling. You know, you had to work nine to nine every single day. The only time you, I mean, you left work very early was on a Saturday when you left work at six o'clock. So you had Monday through Saturday working and you only had a Sunday to do whatever it is you want to do, your laundry, meeting friends, going out, going dates with your girlfriend or partner or whatever. And that was a life I knew that I didn't want to live. It was too hard for me, not because I don't like working, but it just wasn't a life that I want to choose for myself. So I was, you know, looking for other options, but travel is something that's always been on my mind. I always wanted to step my own business, be an entrepreneur, travel if I can, be a digital nomad or live the digital nomad lifestyle. And that was something I had at the back of my mind. And in the three years that I've been doing all kinds of jobs, I've tried a lot of things. I've tried, you know, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, all of any online business that you probably heard about, you name it, I tried it. So I, I pretty much failed at everything, not because I didn't have skill or I wasn't attentive or I wasn't learning enough. I just didn't have the time or the resources to dedicate to this thing. So of course, if you don't have money, you need to dedicate time. But I was working so much, so I didn't have time to work on these things when I got home because the work I was doing at the time was pretty physically challenging. I'm not gonna lie. So I pretty much failed at everything I tried within that time period. And as soon as I, you know, start got my sales job, started making some money, then I started investing, you know, in this business. I started learning Facebook ads, started doing it for other people. I would take on clients, you know, hoping that I could help them get clients. But Facebook ads was something that I failed at at first. But as soon as I started, you know, getting clients and I was basically learning with other people's money, you know, I wasn't getting great results. But one thing that I made sure that I was doing was learning the nitty gritty of running Facebook ads. I made sure I was learning that. And eventually I, you know, actually was running ads for a friend, a real, I mean, a realtor. And with that opportunity, I was really mastering the art of Facebook ads, how to run great ads, how to write great copy, how to do all these things. So Facebook ads was one digital skill that I put all my time into and I knew that if I could make a business out of it, out of helping people get customers, you know, online running hats of businesses, this could allow me to eventually quit my job. But I quit my job prematurely. I left my job when I wasn't even ready to go into my own business. So that really hurt me, you know, for a little bit. So it was on January 1st of 2021 at my sales job when I realized that 
this is just too much for me. This is not the life that I want for myself. And I actually walked in at a little argument with my boss and I quit my job on the 1st of January without any plan whatsoever. So I went home for the next one, two weeks. I just sat at my desk, you know, working every day, just trying to see what I can do that can make me some money. And I was pretty much, you know, broken every single day, deflated, and I didn't know what I was going to do at any point in time. Then I st stumbled on this business model called dropshipping, Facebook marketplace dropshipping. So Facebook had just introduced the shipping option on the platform at the time because of COVID. And, you know, they introduced a shipping option where you're not just selling to your neighbors and friends and family, but you can actually ship all over the country. So Facebook marketplace was one business model that I discovered at the time. And I just had to try it out. You know, I went all in. In the first week, I made about $600 in profit. And I was thinking to myself, if I can make $600 in profit in one week, then if I can keep that level of consistency, I mean, I would be able to, to cover my rent. I'd already quit my job at the time. So that was going great for me. And I decided to make a video about it on YouTube. And that video took off. So my main YouTube channel, if you haven't seen it, it's now a travel YouTube channel. That's where I post all my travel content. I'll link, I'll, I'll, I'll link it down below. I started making videos on that, talking about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And within two months, my channel grew to over a thousand subscribers and I monetized the channel and all the opportunities came along with it. So I started doing affiliate marketing, promoting the products I was using, the software that I'm using, and everything just started looking good for me at the time. You know, everything, you know, started coming into place for me. I knew that now that I quit my job, I can focus all my time, my attention, my effort into building this YouTube, into building this platform and this business that I have going on for me. So I think the more of the story here up until this point is this, if you don't have, you know, if, if, if you're looking for a way to start a side business and you have a job right now, you don't necessarily have to be comfortable because there's no way you will be comfortable. You maybe you may never get to a comfortable place to quit your job to focus on the things that you want to do. I get it. Some of us are not able to have that luxury of quitting our jobs and go focus on one thing because we may have families, we may have things to take care of, you know, financially. And I get that. But what I'm just saying, if, if you don't have the luxury of quitting your job, just make sure you're devoting just enough time to that side business, you know, after you work in your regular hours, because that is the only way. So fast forward to now, uh, even though I don't post, you know, business content on that channel anymore, I post travel content exclusively now, I have been able to, you know, build an income to a point where I can travel, I can, you know, go around the world, you know, live this little normal life that I always wanted to live a life of, you know, freedom, a life of, you know, not having to wake up every day thinking, you know, that I have to go to the office, I have to be stuck behind a desk. I've built a life where I can do that without actually worrying about anything. Of course, I'm not at a point, I'm not making life changing money right now, but I'm making just enough to be able to cover my expenses without having to think about uh, anything, without having to have pressure and, or anxiety. Of course, it's sometimes that you will be anxious because you don't always have control of the things you do, but I'm at a point where I am grateful for where I am right now. And if I hadn't made those decisions back when I did, I would have never known. So the, it, there was no clear path. There was no clear um, guarantee of an outcome. But I just decided that, you know what, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to go for it. So having an online business is something that you don't have a guaranteed outcome. You know, you just have to believe, you just have to know, you just have to know in your mind that it's going to work. And there's one book that I'm reading right now. It's called How to Think Big or Achieve Great Things. I will leave a link to it down in the description or put it here on the screen for you to see. And that book is mainly just saying that whether you think you can, you're right. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you think you cannot achieve anything, then you are right in your mind. It's just reinforcing, you know, this popular saying, you know, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right either way. So even though it's cliche, it is actually true. So if you are at a point right now where you're thinking about, you know, starting an online business, how do you go about this or that, and you're just not sure, and because of that, you don't want to take action, well, at the end of the day, you will be right. But one thing I want to reinforce to you right now, there's one thing you take away from this video, you don't want to be haunted by the, you know, by the ghost of your unrealized dreams. So if you have a dream that you don't pursue today, it will come back to haunt you in the future because you will never know what you could or could not have achieved. So right now, I'm in Albania, I'm traveling all over the world. I am not saying this to brag or anything. I'm just very grateful that I can do this. 
But at the same time, the only way that I've been able to do this was by going hard on my dreams, by, by going hard on the things that I actually believed in. I know that for me, working in 9 to 5 was never an option. Even though I did it, I was always a terrible employee. I was always terrible at you know my job. The only thing I did was that I was only focused on the outcome, but the way I got there, either I would be breaking rules or hiking with my boss every day, and I knew that wasn't good for the business. It wasn't good for me. It wasn't good for my boss or for anyone around me. So I was always a terrible employee. So having a nine to five job wasn't something that I was willing to put up with. So knowing that, knowing that I don't want that life had me actually go focus my attention and my effort into something that I knew that I wanted, something that would work out for me long term. And that's exactly what I did. So if you watch this video till this point, please make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know where you are in your journey to becoming an entrepreneur or to becoming you know, self-sustainable in your lifestyle right now. I really want to know. So yeah, I think the moral of this story here you know, is not to you know, give you all this rah, 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 you know, pump you up and you know, give you, you know, some false motivation, but to really put you in perspective of like, if you want to start a business today, you should be ready to, you know, face the consequences of that because it is will come a time where it's not consistent. You will have anxiety about, you know, how you're going to pay your bills and things like that. But if you have the mindset that you will win in the end, then you will definitely win. So that's just what I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know if this video is helpful. Every once in a while, I will come here and just, you know, give you a real perspective of, on, uh, you know, on what I'm doing and now things are going for me. So again, let me know if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do that. My name is Daniel and uh, I will see you in the next video. Also, if you wanna connect with me, my Instagram will be down below. So uh, connect with me, send me a message and I will talk to you in the next one.